Welcome back Town Scoves. What's the video for Thursday, April 15th? We have six items going out. First one up is this big old filtrate system. Uh, I picked this up at Community Aid. I have way less than 10 bucks in it, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember exactly what it is. Uh, sold it for $51 plus shipping. That'd be the second time because the first guy never paid for it. So I relisted it and then sold in like six hours. Next one is a John Wayne plate. This guy here. Pretty cool piece. Uh, that is the last John Wayne plate that I have. I got these in a lot. I didn't pay much for them. $16 free shipping. So not too bad. Next one. More parts and pieces. This is that KitchenAid one. That real small one I picked up at the auction. $12.95 plus shipping. So I'm telling you guys. It's a part amount. Saves you a lot of headache from shipping the whole thing. Next one I'm going to pop up here. It's in this little box over here. It's a little box. Uh, it's 2.7 pounds of half inch uh, vintage marbles. They're pretty cool ones. They're just solid color ones. Nothing like a cat's hair or anything special. I've had these for a little while. Um, I got it from a guy that used to come around and sell stuff that he would basically trash pick. He needed money so I'd always help him out. $15 plus shipping. So not too bad. Um, this guy here, it's a vintage Popeye sweet pea. Um, it's 2000, it's a CVS piece that was picked up a while ago. I'm not even sure where I got that from. $10 plus shipping, so pretty decent profit. And then been slowly selling off some of this stuff you, and uh, we got this out of the one auction. I don't know if I've posted that video yet. I don't think I did. So that one's $14 free shipping. So it's not too bad of money. I know the whole tray cost me, I think it was around seven bucks. So usually when I sell one or two pieces, it pays for the tray and then we're in the profits afterwards. So that's it guys. Looking forward to a good weekend and we're going yard sailing. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can find. Thanks for joining us. See you on the next one. Welcome back Towns Cove. This is a what's sold video for Friday and Saturday, I guess that would be the 16th and 17th. Yeah, something like that. We have 17 items going out. Uh, pretty decent. First one is this guy here. This came out of liquidation.com pallets, $20 free shipping. So I'll make a little bit of money on that. Next one is this one. You see me sporadically sell these lately. Uh, that's the Archbishop of Canterbury. I thought for sure that'd be like one of the last ones I'd ever sold. Here's the third one. $10 free shipping. Not a ton of money, but hey, whatever. Battleship game pieces again. Somebody must really want these. I'm assuming they must be on a military base because it says global shipping program. Hey, whatever. $10 free shipping. They got to pay the fee to go overseas. It doesn't cost me anything because I did it through the GSP program. These guys here, pick them up. these are the old Disney blocks. Uh, it'd be $7.50 plus $2 shipping, so it's $9.50. I'll make a couple dollars on it and they're gone. It's a PSP UMD Kiss of the Dragon. Uh, that's brand new, sealed, $10 free shipping. Make a couple bucks on it. That's actually something that was laying around the house for years. Brand new and sealed? Yeah, brand new sealed. Well, Never even opened. This came from one of the All Stars with 10 speeds. $20 free shipping. Granted, I'm only make a few dollars on it, but hey, when I park those out, I make really good money on them. Next one I'm going to have to pop up here. It's too big. I'm not even going to pull it down until last minute. It's too expensive. It's that AMT Turnpike model that I picked up a few months ago. I think it's been there. It's that really big box? It's a really big box. Uh, $425 plus shipping. I think I'll make right around $140 on it because I think I have almost two to two fifty in it. I'd have to look. I know I paid up for it, but I mean it's a rare model. It's cool. So next one I'm gonna pop up here, but I mean if you want to see them right here, there's nothing special. Levi 541 jeans. They were actually I was originally gonna keep them because uh, they were my size, the 3832s, but I don't the pockets are like this deep. I don't like that. <laughs> it doesn't work for me. Picky. Yeah. 
So they were on the on the sale. They sold for seventeen sixty. Uh, next ones are. I mean, I'll tell you what, man. If you fit, see these, pick them up. I picked these up in the last auction. I don't even think I've released that video. I just, you know, not, I know. I, no, they didn't come from the art sale. Oh, that's right. Those they, came yeah. from the auction. It's those two and another set that I haven't even cleaned up. I got them Thursday, listed them Friday, and they sold Saturday. This set sold for a hundred dollars. I didn't even have to touch them. That's how they looked when I pulled them out of the box. They look brand new, even on the yeah. bottoms. This set's the exact same way. Look brand new. That set sold for seventy dollars. I mean, they even have the little inserts to keep the forms on them. I paid twenty five dollars for the whole lot. So. Good money for sure. Probably going to burn off that little fringe on that. Uh, next one's laying down here, but I'm going to pop it up on the screen. It's just easier to see. Um, it's the uh, Acid Wash jean jacket that I picked up at that uh, at the yard sale that we were at. Paid $5 for it. Sold for $40 plus shipping. Man, what a pain for this one. <laughs> Six million questions. It's just it, it scares me when people do that kind of stuff. Um, this one here, I'm going to pop up on the screen. It's a lot of uh, hats. John Watermaker hat box. And then it's like one of the pieces of Union Made hat. Those have some value. $17 plus shipping. What did you have in that lot? Dollar or two? Mm -hmm. So, pretty good money. Finally sold these things. The cat's meow. Cat's meow, yeah. There's a lot of three. $15 plus shipping. Um, I don't know why they're labeled as priority. They could probably go anyway. Anywho, so fifteen dollars plus shipping. I don't even know what I have in them. I can't imagine I'll have much of them. This guy here selling phones like crazy lately. This is probably one of the cheaper ones and not one of the ones you'd want to pick up. That sold for sixteen dollars free shipping. So I'm gonna make about three dollars on that. But eh, whatever. This one I was talking about in, the, in one of the videos. This is that Grunding. Um, it's a shortwave radio. You'll see it better on the screen here. I bought it. I paid thirty dollars for this thing. I was hoping it was going to work because if it worked, it was one hundred fifty bucks. It doesn't work. So I sold it, but back and forth with the guy for a while. We ended up forty dollars free shipping. It'll go out. I think I figured the net loss is three dollars on that. It's better than thirty. <laughs> And this guy, a model. It's a Pegasus. Uh, it's one of the, it's a heavy Pershing tank, as you can see. 1958 free shipping. I think this is one of the ones I have like five dollars in it. So we'll make fair money on it. Just nothing spectacular. This is the last piece for that KitchenAid uh, Chef Chopper. All the other pieces are gone. They all went out last week. So that's over fourteen dollars free shipping. That'll definitely go out first class. I just got to find the right box. So make fair money on it. I think altogether between the three pieces, I made at least 30, 35 bucks on it. The whole mixer was only worth like 20 or 25. Pays it the part amount. Last one, I'm definitely going to have to pop up. It's somewhere around here. No, it's out there. It's an NHTSA 1 subwoofer amp. Um, great brand. It's just their bottom of the line. Nothing spectacular. But $58 plus shipping. The dude, wow, the dude paid $45 shipping for this thing. Well, Where's this thing well, going? Yeah. I'm assuming it's going to Canada. I know it's going to New Mexico. It must be way out in New Mexico. But hey, either way, it's good money. Um, and I know I only paid $5 for that unit. Because we got it out of the one auction. They were just buying left and right. Unfortunately, it was two out of five were good. And the rest of them were garbage. But... I only had $25 in all of them, so it wasn't that bad. This one, 58 bucks, paid for everything. And I make some money, and I still have one good one, which is sitting over there. It's a DVD player, and I'll make 70 bucks on that. It's pretty good. Not a bad day, or not a bad two days, I should say. Um, the running total for this weekend, uh, before Sunday, which is, this is Sunday, we're shooting it the day at, two days after, or day after, I'm sorry. Uh, it was about a thousand bucks, right around there. So not doing bad. Um, by the end of Sunday, I'm, I'm looking like we'll be around twelve, thirteen hundred bucks. I'll take that. That's a great weekend. 
Uh, we were out this morning, Sunday, doing some flea market sales, trying to blow out our junk. Mm. Been about 140 bucks. Five hours worth of work, six hours worth of work. Yeah, I'll take it. Money. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. See you on the next one.